Hi all. So today let's see how we can integrate an Angular JS legacy application with an Angular 12 application using single spark. So I have an Angular JS application here. It's a very basic application. Now let's go through step by step and see how we can integrate single spa into this AngularJS application. So this is our AngularJS application and here I have added the AngularJS and the Angular UI router along with our application code that is the main.js. So here basically it will have two routes. One is the home and other is the Angular. So in Angular we will be loading our Angular 12 application. And inside our main.js, you can see that we have defined a main module, which is our starting point. And we have also defined a route for home, where I have defined a home component, where it is a simple form, which will show the first name and last name, and the related functionalities. Now, we can go ahead and run this application. So I am just using the HTTP server and serving this application. So this is our application. Now when I click on the AngularJS app link, the AngularJS application will be loaded here. So now our aim is that we will introduce single spa and then integrate the Angular 12 application and when the angular link is clicked it will be displayed so for integrating the single spa the first step is that we will be utilizing our angular js application as a root config or root container so first we need to add the single spa which i have added as a script next we need a utility called single spa angular js which also we will be loading in our script so the order is important. First single spa has to be loaded and then the single spa angular JS has to be loaded. Now the next step is that we can remove this ng app, which will be our starting point where which bootstraps our angular JS module. So we can remove that. Since we are using single spa to bootstrap our application, we need not have the ng app. The next step is that we need to convert our angular application into a global variable so we will be adding this code so that we make use of the single spa angular module and within that we are calling the default method and we are passing a parameter so this object con consists of multiple options so one is the angular this is a required field so this will be our angular object in the global scope and here in the main angular module we need to give the name of our main angular module that is main module i have given it here and since i am using the ui router here i am setting the option ui router as true in case you are using ng root you can set the ng root as true and here the preserve global will be like in case you need to preserve your application as a global, even after mounting, you need to give it as true. So here I am not giving it. So once this has been added, our legacy Angular application, that is the Angular JS application, will be created as a global variable in the window object. Now let's go to our index.html and add a script tag here. So here we are making use of the single spa module and we are registering our newly created AngularJS application with single spa. So here we are passing an object in which the name is the name of our application. So I have given it as legacy Angular app. Second is the app, the actual application that we have created here in window, window.legacyAngular app. So that I have given here. And in the third one is active when. So in which root should we actually activate that particular angular application so here i have given it as home so now let's run our application so here you can see that our angular js application is working as expected with single spa 
using a global object. Now let's check the status of our Angular AngularJS application using a utility method. So within our main.js inside our own init I am going to add a console log which will show the status of our AngularJS application. So this is the way in which we can get the app status. So inside the single spa global object we have a method called get app status and here we can pass the name of our application. So the name which we have defined here that is legacy angular app and I have added that here. Now similarly I will add a status here also and also here while typing some value in the first name box I have added a ng change which will trigger the log method so I'll create a log method so this will also log the status of our application now let's run it so initially you can see that the app status is not bounded now when we try to write something you can see that now the angular application is actually mounted and similarly when we leave the particular home route you can see that it is getting unmounted so this way we can track the status of our application here we saw how we can create a angular js application as a window object or a global object now let's see how we can do the same thing using system.js so system.js is the recommended practice for creating the angular module so here I am replacing the window or the global object with the system syntax so here we are using system.register and within that we are actually passing the same formatted value like the single spa angular js dot default we are calling with the same parameters and we are exporting these values so that they are available through system.js in order to make our application compatible with system.js we need to do the following steps first you need to remove the umd single spa bundle so i am removing that next we will be removing the main.js so we will be loading that main.js using system.js now I have added these steps like I have added a system.js import map so here I have provided the single spa module as a system.js format and also I have added a new import that is the app legacy angular app so here I have provided our main.js so the same thing we will be loading it using the system.import and the name which we have provided here so this is equivalent to what we did earlier but this is done through system.js and here we have added the system.js min file as well similarly we can modify the portion where we register our applications so that it is compatible with system.js so i am doing system.import the single spa module and then once the single spa is loaded I am attaching it to the window so that I can access that within our main.js for logging purpose and the remaining part is exactly similar to what we did earlier we pass the app details within our register application and along with the root details and then we start our single spa so now let's see whether our application is running so here once we go to our angular.js route it, the home route the AngularJS application is getting loaded and everything is working as expected now let's add our angular 12 application to this single spa app I am going to create a new angular 12 application using the single spa CLA in case you already have an angular 12 application you can manually migrate it to use single spa so now let's get started I'm using the CLA I am selecting application, type angular, 
the name I am giving it as Angular app. I am giving yes. So our Angular 12 application has been created. And now I have added the extra steps we need to do. That is add the app base ref, base href and given the value as slash. And also I have provided a default route which will point to the empty root component which is created automatically by the CLI. Now let's go to the app component. And here I am going to add a console log which we did earlier for our legacy Angular application. So the same console we can use here. I am Since I attached the singles part to the window, I will be able to access it. And I will pass this value, that is the name of the new application, and get the current status. So let's add that to the init, destroy, and do check. So in the do check, whenever we perform an action, it will be displayed so that we can see the see whether our application is actually mounted. Now let's go ahead and build our Angular 12 application. So I am running the command npm run build single spa Angular app. The build is completed. Now let's serve this using the HTTP server in a different port. So the output of the dist Angular app I am going to serve on the port number 8081 enabling course. So now we can add this detail within our import map. So here I am giving the name as new angular app and I, since I hosted it in the local host 8081 I am giving that detail. Now I can register the same within single spa. So I will just duplicate the information and I will change the name as new angular app and provide the URL as angular. So in case the root becomes angular, our angular tool application should be loaded. Now let's reload our application and see. So currently we are standing in our Angular JS application. Now I'm going to click the Angular app. So it is showing that it needs zone JS. So let's add that. So we can add zone JS here just before our legacy Angular app loading. So I have added that here. Now let's refresh our application. See. So now you can see that our Angular 12 application is successfully loaded, and we can see our status as mounted here. And similarly, when we click on the Angular JS route, it redirects to the our Angular JS application. So hope you were able to get a good idea about how we can integrate Angular JS and Angular application together using single spa. See you soon. Thank you.